Uh, good evening. My name is George Coleman. Uh, I live in a south of Mosinee in Knowlton on a community of about 40 homes. Uh, there are only our only access, unless we want to swim across the Wisconsin River, is one road that goes over the CNA tribes. And I've been stuck there for an hour and a half. A neighbor of mine who has to work very early in the morning, and he's been stuck there for two and a half hours, and he uh, lost a lot of sleep. He couldn't get to get to bed in time to get up to work in the morning. Um, it's uh, I've had a crawl over a train, and I'm 71 years old, and I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, in this one hour and a half block, which and other people did the same thing, and you'll have people probably in this audience that have done the very same thing. I'm, uh, I've been a lawyer for 42 years. I'm retired now, licensed in Illinois and New Jersey. And I've read the Supreme Court decision in Illinois, and I really think that they really uh, pushed preemption to its limit. Uh, they really strained to find there was a preemption argument for a lousy little thing that says you can't block the, the, the siding for 20 so, minutes. So, of course, I totally understand preemption, but let's just say some people might not, uh, for non-lawyers in the audience. Tell us, tell us what you mean by this when you say that the argument is Well, that says if, if the federal law specifies that the law preempts, the federal law preempts state law, or read it in its entirety, it would preempt by uh, implication because it touches all these areas. And it doesn't burden Illinois, and uh, it burdens inter interstate commerce, then you're, you're preempted. Yeah, sure. Uh, but I think they, the decisions, I think they could, could have gone the other way. They analyzed it all, et cetera, but they came to the wrong conclusion. But that being said, I think uh, nobody's eager to take it all the way up to the Supreme Court. And, uh, and you don't see very, very much in the way of an effort among our local authorities to, to do anything beyond issue a ticket, which is all they can do. We would have to start at the state to get some and bring it up that level with the district, uh, the, the attorney general. But probably ultimately the gentleman who mentioned the federal solution, that's probably all right. And Mr. Duffy's representative mentioned the resolution. What about a bill? What's a resolution going to do? Well, House resolution. It's going to be a bill? No, you're talking about legislation, not just a, yes. it being resolved that. Right. <coughs> okay. Well, that's about all I have to say. I'm, uh, I'm happy to be here, and I hope uh, this simulates some activity. We appreciate it.